So good afternoon and thank you for your interest in the 2024 Soundwaves Art Gallery. My name is Annie Brocious and I'm the Program Manager at the Arts and Business Council of Greater Nashville. With me today is Jonathan Harwell Dye, our Director of Programs, and Teresa Tutlanghari, Vice President of Marketing at the Nashville Soccer Club. So this afternoon, we're going to begin with some brief introductions and overview of the project, and then dive into some of the details before opening up for questions from all of you. Starting with the Arts and Business Council, we are an independent local nonprofit organization with a mission to leverage and unite the unique resources of the arts and business communities to create a thriving, sustainable creative culture in Nashville. We do this in part by offering direct services, key opportunities, educational workshops, as well as programs like Periscope Artist Entrepreneur Training and Fiscal Sponsorship, all of which support artists in building and sustaining their creative businesses. This is, includes pro bono and professional legal and professional support for artists and nonprofits through our Volunteer Lawyers and Professionals for the Arts Division, VLPA. For instance, coming up December 6th, we're hosting a pro bono tax clinic for artists, musicians, and creatives offering 30-minute one-on-one -on -one appointments with volunteer tax experts and financial counselors to answer your questions on tax filings or other financial management issues. And finally, we create mutually beneficial partnerships between the arts and business communities through programs like Arts Board Matching, the Creative Advantage Corporate Training Suite, and through partnerships like we have with the Nashville Soccer Club. Teresa, would you like to say a few words about the NSA? Oh, sure. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining today. Um, I'm Teresa. I head up the marketing and digital team for Nashville Soccer Club. Um, just a, a brief overview, if you're not familiar, uh, NSC is the Major League Soccer team for, uh, for Nashville. Uh, we play uh, typically February through October. We're currently, um, our season is over for this year and we're prepping for next year. Our home is Geodis Park. It's located in the Wedgwood Houston area. And um, our Sound Waves Gallery for 2024 will be our third one. We've hosted uh, a gallery um, each of the years uh, that our, our stadium has been open. And the gallery is located in our suite corridor um, up on the second floor in the premium area. So it's a is a it's an area that's not as heavily trafficked from a perspective of not in the concourse on game days. Um, however, it's an area where um, our suite members are frequently going in and out of their suites and um, accessing their their uh, their suites from that level. Well, thanks, Teresa. So going on to the overview of Soundwaves Gallery, um, as she said, the uh, gallery first opened in 2022 for the Nashville SC's inaugural season. And we continued the partnership in 2023 with the current gallery themed Nashville in Rhythm, which will close in December. Each year we select works exclusively from artists in Nashville and surrounding communities to display in the VIP Suites Corridor at Geotis Park for the full duration of the Nashville SC season. The, peach, the pieces can be purchased at the online shop located at abcnashville.org and it's linked from the Nashville SC's website where anyone can purchase works from the gallery. So for the 2024 gallery, most 2D and 3D mediums will be accepted. This includes, but it's not limited to paintings, block and screen printing, photography, mixed media, wood, metal, and sometimes of sculpture. It's preferred that submitted pieces are prepared for the gallery presentation at the time of application, and any pieces needing a frame will ideally be in a simple black, white, or wood frame. Works intended to be unframed will be considered as long as, again, they are delivered in ready to hang condition. And when submitting, please be sure to include the final outside dimensions if you can, as this is critical to our being able to determine where they can be positioned in the gallery. Each work must be no larger than six feet tall or six feet wide and must not impede on the walking area. The corridor is just that, a wide hallway. We don't want to risk your piece being damaged by passersby. On the application, we ask that you provide the full retail price for your piece. For this exhibit, we will accept pieces with a retail price of no more than $5,000. Should your piece be accepted into the gallery, that price in your submission will be what is displayed on the gallery signage and the online shop as the final retail price for the customer. 
The exhibition theme this year is Glory Music City, with the gallery being a celebration of the unique identities of the neighborhoods in Nashville and the surrounding areas. The works may be pre-existing or created new for the purpose of this exhibition. Works should not use any of NSC's or its affiliates trademarks, logos, logos, surface marks, symbols, trade names, or other intellectual property for any purpose whatsoever without the team's prior written consent. And I wanted to be sure to give you an idea of the space that we're working with. As I was saying, this is a corridor, not a, not a, a square open room. The pieces are displayed along one side of the corridor with the entrances to the suite on the opposite side. There are open walls, but there are also windows, doors, and beams that break up the space. And you can see that it presents challenges and opportunities to display different sizes and shapes of works. So moving on to compensation, here is the breakdown. There will be a 70-30 split between the artist and the NSC. For each piece sold, the artist will ultimately receive 70% of the retail price. Regardless of whether or not the piece sells, the artist will receive upfront a 10% commission as a rental fee within six weeks of the gallery install. So if the work sells, the artist will receive the remaining commission. If it does not sell, the work will be returned to the artist at the end of the season, but the artist keeps that 10% commission rental fee. So for example, um, you have a $1,000 retail value piece. $100 is paid to the artist upfront as a rental fee. If the work sells, the artist receives the remaining $600 for that total of $700. If the work does not sell, the artist keeps the rental fee and the piece is returned after the conclusion of the season. And finally, if your pieces are accepted, it's agreed that the NSC retains limited image rights to work or to the work or works so that they may promote the gallery. The application can be accessed either through our website's Opportunities Hub, abcnashville.org slash opportunities, or directly through, the, through Submittable at abcnashville.submittable.com slash submit. So the application begins by asking a series of questions so that we may collect demographic information. Next, you must upload a PDF of your CV or artistic resume. Then you'll need to provide an artist statement telling us more about you, your creative practice, and your experience with galleries, exhibitions, or art shows. If selected, this may be used as your artist's bio. As for your actual artwork submissions, you may submit up to five. Each submission must include the title, medium, dimensions, and suggested retail price, a narrative about the work, including how it relates to the exhibition theme, Glory Music City, and the celebrating celebration of the unique identities of the neighborhoods in Nashville and surrounding areas. And each submission can include a minimum of one and a maximum of five images of the piece. And finally, on the application are the certifications. So you'll need to certify that the statements are true and, and correct to the best of your knowledge, that the artwork submitted are in fact yours. Um, by submitting your portfolio to the R this RFQ, you re agree that the work submitted will be available for installation at the NSC Stadium for the 2024 season, beginning late January, and that they can be sold. And by submitting the works to this call for art, you also agree to abide by the decision of the Review Committee and all the decisions of the Review Committee, Arts and Business Council, and Nashville Soccer Club are final. So artwork submissions are due Friday, December 8th at noon. Submissions will be evaluated by a community art committee composed of NSC stakeholders, community leaders, and curatorial experts that will select the final works for display. The committee will confirm that the submission meets all the basic criteria in the call for art that the artist is a current resident of Nashville or surrounding areas, the price of the piece, size of the piece, and our ability to, to display the piece properly within the space. The committee will confirm that the piece fits the theme and they will seek to select artists who represent a variety of neighborhoods in and around the city to celebrate the entire Nashville SC community. The committee will select artwork in a variety of styles and media by a diverse group of artists to represent the diversity of the Nashville community. Artworks will be selected in early January and artists will be notified in mid-January. The install will take place around the last week of January, first week of February. We will schedule a single day on which all artists or their representatives may hand deliver their works to Geodis Park. 
We can't accept shipments, nor can we make individual appointments for drop-offs. So we'll let you know when that date and time and window are confirmed. And finally, the gallery opens the week of February 19th, 2024. And all these, the timeline is subject to change on these, but we will keep you absolutely informed as to when the dates are confirmed or adjusted or otherwise. So that is the conclusion of the information that I have to share with you. Again, I'll be sending out information by email to follow up so that you have it. Um, so if I can go ahead and open this up for questions. Okay, this is Kay, I'm with Steve. Um, two questions. The first one is, um, it said you said we could have submit up to five images, um, but yeah. you also, I think said we could submit up to five pieces. So is yes, it five, can... five images per piece or is it five images total? Uh, per piece. Okay, great. Yeah, the, the form allows you to upload um, multiple angles. It, like for instance, it's most helpful in things like sculpture or if there's a particular detail that you'd like to focus in on in the image that you're um, on a painting or right. anything like that. Okay, so five submissions with up to five images per each. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, good. And then question about pricing. Um, does, does the price, um, does our suggested retail price have any uh, bearing on whether or not the piece is selected? Well, as long as you stay below the maximum. Okay, yeah, okay, gotcha. Well, it's, it's like I was saying before that we do want to make sure that we have a variety of pieces okay. in, in, the, in the gallery. And so we do like that, that does include price. And so there, you know, yeah. we will have a, a, a range, but. Um, right. So you want not... to talk about balance of price ranges as well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so someone is asking for further explanation on the theme. Is the thought Nashville themed pieces. And uh, the theme is to be about um, is highlighting the specific unique neighborhoods around the city. Teresa, do you have anything to add to that? I think, yeah, I can definitely add um, to that. I think, you know, obviously we want to focus on Nashville in the in the neighborhoods. Uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be of the, the typical, you know, what people would typically think of when uh, when they think of Nashville, like Broadway or anything like that. I What we'd love to see is a wide array of whether it's it could be music related and neighborhoods it could be tied to you know something very um very literal on different neighborhoods and those looks and feels it could be food it could be you know all the different things that kind of make up the unique personalities of our communities around Nashville so you know what we're really hoping to do is is show a broad array of um, works of art that encompass what makes Nashville and its neighborhoods so unique and um, exciting to, to live in. Great, thank you, Teresa. So we have someone asking how the layout is decided. And the layout is determined after we, see, we receive the pieces. We wanna make sure that we have a good, good flow going on. Um, we, I, I know that some of it has to do with offering viewers a variety of different media. So um, I know that last year we tried not to lump too many things together so that we had like a, a, a changing flow of, of things to look at to keep the person curious and moving through the gallery. Um, I don't think that we have necessarily determined if we're going to divide things into um, into neighborhoods or not within the gallery itself. I think that that is gonna just depend on what kinds of pieces we receive. Um, also the flow with the sizes and shapes of the different pieces. Again, wanna make sure that it's just a nicely presented flow um, and a good balance. So nothing that is hard and, and specific, but more so that we wanna have a good presentation for people to walk through. It's it is dependent on the work that we receive. I think that's the biggest lesson, and then, um, and it's you know hung in a in a fashion that is meant to to make it look the best it can possibly be. Uh, obviously, size considerations and all those things are taken into account based on the the layout of the hallway and 
the different architectural features and you obviously you can't put a big piece in a small space and that sort of thing so it's some of it is determined by the site specific location of the gallery and someone did ask what kind of what size canvas we prefer nothing larger than six foot wide or six feet high and um someone was asking uh, just a follow-up question on the um on the topic the artist statements should reflect the relation to the specific neighborhood being highlighted that is helpful there's a question do we prefer to have a hundred percent original or if we would accept prints i think from my perspective original would be great i think if if it's um shared as a print um if it's indicated that there's a limited quantity or something, the whole intent of this is to make it, you know, um, original works. Okay. To be more specific, this is um, this is Yanni who's asking about the um, original versus prints. She has a couple of original paintings, but was wondering if she can print them for the show on canvas. Sure. I think I think that's fine. Great. That just needs to be indicated in the application yes. when you submit. You have to indicate that it's a print and that it's not the original painting. Um, that'll be important for them to make that choice because if it is, if if it's submitted as the original painting, but then it's a print that shows up, then that may not be able to be um, shown. So definitely let us know the medium of the actual piece that would be on display. And the question: Can we have prints for sale in the show? Um, this isn't a place where we could have retail set up. I mean, it is a gallery, a gallery wall set up in a space that is a corridor in the suites at the stadium. So it's not one single event. It's a an exhibition in a space that's going to be open to the public for a certain period of time. May I turn in a print as well as the original? And the reason I ask is everything that I do um leads to offering it as a print for sale uh, i hang on typically hang on to my originals because i like to add a, a bit of color in there that uh i don't do with my pencils and uh i also like to increase the contrast so would it be possible to make uh, I, out of my two choices to make one the original and one a print i i guess you could but only what would be the the piece that would be accepted and put up on the wall and on exhibition is the phys is the piece that will be handed to the purchaser right at the end of the of the exhibition okay. so i would suggest that you submit what you think is the mm. piece that you want to sell okay okay if the piece is a work in progress at the time of application submission Am I able to submit pictures of the unfinished work? Yeah, I think the only two issues there are going to be if you submit a piece that's not finished, then the when the work is being selected, it may not be selected because the unfinished piece may, may not reflect the quality of the finished piece. And so there, no one's going to be able to judge the quality of your finished piece and whether it meets the, uh, the it'll be harder for them to judge that, especially thinking about the theme and the quality and all those sorts of things. The other issue would be if it's not finished by the date of installation, then it still wouldn't be able to be included even if you submitted it. Um, so, I mean, there is a there is a risk associated with submitting unfinished work. Um, you know, if it's almost finished, it's, you know, there's just a little bit left. That may be something that, you know, when the committee is reviewing it, well, they'll be able to tell that that's the work. And as long as it's finished by the date, that won't be a problem. But I would take that into consideration since it will make it harder for the committee. And I have another theme question. Um, what is the relation between the theme and soccer, if any? I don't know if there's a direct soccer connection um, in the theme. However, just taking into consideration the location. Yeah, I would. I can also kind of speak to it. There's a lot of things I can't share, but there will be a direct relation to kind of our theme for the season next year and how this works with it. So hopefully that's kind of why we crafted uh, this theme this year is kind of naturally fold into all the things that we're doing from a marketing perspective um, externally with, uh, with our brand. 
I've got one question based on um, something that uh, Leandra asked. I'm not sure if uh, you actually addressed it. Um, she said um, the artist statements then should uh, reflect the relation to the specific neighborhood being highlighted. Um, that's actually a good question. Um, cr crafting the uh, artist statement, should it have to do with the theme of this thing, which is the neighborhoods? Yeah, that could be. I mean, there's there's two different things. There's the artist statement that is your um, that's essentially your bio, and then there's the description of the piece, and just explaining the tie-in so that the reviewers can visualize it is perfectly fine. All right. Well, if there aren't any more questions, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Again, very much appreciate all of you coming. Looking forward to seeing everyone's applications come through. And again, any questions at all, info at abcnashville.org.